Another great start we had on the quads as the quad not badly affected really. Everything over 90. Oh, apart from the wheels. But almost everything else over 90. So not many repairs needed. Don't think we need to tune the vehicle either. Brakes were okay. And everything else was okay. So is that the stage two? At the start then, so we've got a long stage ahead of us. Over 450 kilometers, 129 waypoints, two control zones. This could be like an hour even on this stage. So we're just about getting is this like a oh my god, it's uphill. Tiniest uphill and the quad struggling. Yeah, it's not like we fit at all in this section. That's a total quad change the road, but no. It's a 698. So at least we're starting on kind of the road first up. As you look ahead. Oh, yeah, great start. Got Pedro Argentine. Well, Argentine born. Nicholas behind us. Got Giroud in third. Find King of the Dakar. As uh, now, it looks like the points and traces. But yeah, nice. Nice quiet compared to the trucks. Classics, side by side in cars. And this like following traces for a while as well. I hope there's not some giant up and down downs on here. Yeah, I can't believe this is the second stage though. Very long stage ahead of us. When on other and what's it 20 and 22 like the stages are nowhere near as long as this is oh my god all right bit of a climb then third just anticipation nice get the revs up so it's still flying traces that means we can cut them a bit here kind of straight line it helps us keep momentum as well over these these dunes, oh. I remember the traces are afterwards though. Yeah, there are lots of distance between the waypoints as well. I did 29 might sound like a lot of waypoints, but just on stages for what's the Dakar 22 and they're kind of waypoints. They're like what, three kilometers in between them here? It's 129 into, so it's like four kilometers. Between three and a half and four, so it's a bit, it might not sound like too big a distance, like increase, like as long as stages definitely is. Come on, second gear, almighty second gear, I believe in you. Once again, sun quite low, kind of blind us. In these stages, it's got another waypoint quickly. Get lots of these safety waypoints in the desert. We've got another one over this ridge as well. Keep going, uh, keep going to the waypoint. I'll go, but not ahead, aren't I? 
I'm too used to rallying again where I'm like used to having a place note there. We can set up corners and stuff. That's what I prefer here as well. A yeah, nice, easy-ish section for us just to follow. Follow dunes and waypoints. And then I, or trace the side. And then yeah, then I guess we're going to get into the dunes as well. And this is only like the second longest rally, like Dakar. 20 is the longest, like four, almost 4,500 kilometers, 4,500 off the top of my head. Then this is like 5,100, 200, and then finally in 22, you've got like, I think it's around 5,000, just under 5,000, so it's like a bit shorter. Like you won't see. 22 like many stages over 400 kilometers for example well on this 20 it's like three or four i think so this is the first all we like three i think on this rally just lift the rear a bit more that's a a a got to out of all right you don't need your assistance. Uh, so we're heading towards some water. Going to clean, clean the quad down, are we? Okay, maybe good to pop for the actual traces. <laughs> I do hate how slow we go in these compared to our opponents. Wish it was a bit more even. I don't know, maybe that's been adjusted in the last ever patch for this game. Who knows? Probably not. One eight one. Let's see where the traces are. They snake a bit. Here, here we go. It's also a confusing a bit. I was like, 181, but that just leads into deeper water. Now in this, you, can, you can't go into too deep water as well. You do get excluded or disqualified. Or, you know, unprofessional behaviour. Or irresponsible behaviour, or it's called on the bob up. So you do have to be careful and some of these, like, Got a water zone as well. Oh, it's two waypoints next to each other. I didn't realise that. Uh, so we've got under 400 kilometres to go. You can breeze in through this stage now. Uh, there's a look at this. Oh my god. Literally, <laughs> literally scuba diving. Quad diving here. So yeah, especially like sections like that, like on the quad and the bike, it feels like, oh, we're going too deep here, when in the car and stuff it would be. But yeah, it's just not, not well adjusted, I guess, for the quads and bikes. So I guess that's why they have different routes in real life as well. Sometimes they go to different waypoints and have slightly different routes compared to like the cars and trucks and everything that can handle. There are other stuff, uh, is, I thought Nicholas said, oh, Manuel's actually up to third, they're Alexandra. Because they're battling in real life for the Dakar, battling for third here. Good to get in, the two behind are Dakar winners as well of this class. Three behind, actually, I guess. As I said, Pablo's one of the few who's been in this class for a while, but has not won the Dakar. Crazy to think. Uh, so heading towards the light. Oh god, it's not a good side, is it? Like, <laughs> uh, 
let's follow Tracer. So we're leaving Tracer's far on the trail here. We'll follow the graphical glitch. <laughs> you just follow that. Oh, I don't know what trap there is to follow. It's mostly traces. I don't know what the... What the Voidbrick is saying. I don't know what trap you expect to be to follow here. Is it this I'm going to be following? Waypoint says so. Alright. And then I'm meant to go right. Nice, alright. Now we're properly on the track. Now we can start following, following the road. A little pristine. Uh, so then we're going off track? Is that right? Cat 59. 87 follow traces. Is that these? Well, let me just check the cap. Yeah, this would be like cap 87. The other side is a green as well. We've got a cap 98. We'll just check. I guess that's ahead because we've got a couple trails ahead. It's cap one two six as well. Since we're close to the, I just noticed Nicholas appearing on the. Oh, I've skipped it now. It must be over there. I can't see a tree actually, can I? Oh no, there is a tree. Oh, okay, I'm going to follow traces over here. Where the heck they are? Are these the traces? No, I've skipped it. I've skipped the way, boy. Oh, damn it. So here's the right road. I've just skipped the actual waypoint before it. Might meet Nicholas actually. Oh, turn it, turn it. Yeah, so this is the right road. I don't get how I'm not hitting the waypoint though. One, two, six. Oh no, Nicholas is ahead of us now. What? Where's he gone? Back here. Oh, it's these traces. I was on a totally different set of traces, what the hell? Oh, we got there in the end. Yeah, this is 126. Okay, got you. This is 118. Right, we're back on track. Well, even following traces are for us. Oh, he did have a decent first stage though, so I think even though we're behind Nicholas, we'll still be ahead overall. I guess that's the reason of this stage, just the maintainer lead for us. Right, we're trying to keep an eye on the time, see how far behind we are now. Turns that cock up. So they're going for the next waypoint. Now. Skip quite too far ahead. So they're like 12 seconds ahead of us. Nice and flat out through here. We're not like in fifth gear on this quad. Right, 
13.55 they went for the previous waypoint. No, 14.02, okay, we can check 14.02. Well, not this waypoint, the next one. Yeah, they pulled out a gap. It's always struggling with gearing. It's like the quad doesn't want fifth gear. The fourth gear isn't good enough. Yeah, they're like 20 seconds ahead now. Really extended his leaders, Nicholas. You just saw him go up here as well. Come on, quad power! Nicely, you can't blame the equipment in this class because, as I said, all the top quads are the same. All, they're all Yamahas, apart from one CF Moto in real life. I don't think there's any. I think they're all Yamahas in this, though. I don't think there's any other, mate. Sort of I can't think who else there would be. Because I know in the past there's been like Honda and. Couple other manufacturers as well, like I think even Polaris as well. Oh yeah, now it's all just Yamaha. As there's Nicholas, we can see. Uh, oh god, I'm gonna do a jump, are we? Power it! We. <laughs> If in doubt. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was a nice little jump. I didn't realise I had that section now in the dark. Right, gap check. 1603, I think. Going through the wave point ahead. So, not that one. The one above. I think the gap was like 20 seconds. And it is now 22. So you have all these ups and downs for losing. Even time a bit well, going off track soon, actually. We both can finally use fifth gear. That's nice. <laughs> Me back into fourth, though. Right, we're leaving it. 114. the trail what the hell? and then oh what's that 140 yeah we're basically fine traces still what the hell one five four then follow the traces oh my god careful that was a bit rough this stage just that error has actually took make this stage it really interesting, you know, with the navigation. That navigation error has made it, we're now, I do like chasing down, rather than like being in front. Because you're always like looking over your shoulder, looking at the timeline, saying, oh no, someone's gaining on us. Even though it can be deceiving. In this though, we're like chasing down Nicholas, like, definitely prefer this. Maybe it's something we'll prefer on circuit racing as well, you know, that. Chasing someone down that half the lap. So we're doing 183. So we're going slightly off. Whoops, use that fifth gear again, don't be using that. Oh, 172. Someone see Nicholas. Come on. Five nine wants to run across the road. There should be a waypoint here. We skipped one night. Go back. Is this waypoint here. Yeah. 
they get a three minute penalty for hitting the waypoint out of order. But at least we've hit them all. And we've got to hit them all. We can't skip a waypoint. Uh, so we're following traces. And now we're leaving them. One, two, five, which is still following traces, basically. <laughs> Two, one. Oh, there's Nicholas. We can see him in front. Yeah, one, two, one. And then we're back on traces officially. For a while, it looks like. Oh, there they are on the top of the ridge over there. I feel like in touching distance. I feel like... I know touching distance is like 20 seconds or something, so... Not quite touching distance. Oh, we can just about see them in their eyes in there as well. Follow traces coming up. In fact, we're just following traces for a while. We can just skip it, actually. Yeah, we're just following traces, though. Need to do that. There's Nicholas. We just skip here till 157. Because there's no, it doesn't seem like there's any turn offs as well. It's like we are closing actually, maybe it's not a 20 second gap now. This up and downs now seems to be working in our favour. So they are just going up the ridge in front. Okay, I can skip ahead. So we're going to be turning left at the next waypoint. Right, so they've just gone through a waypoint, 2142. Not this waypoint, the next one. Yeah, gap down to 17 seconds, so we are gaining. skip ahead where we can just go straight ahead maybe it's a bit delayed on the side actually oh god it's a good turn go through the gap <laughs> oh what is going on why am I like slamming ahead 116 follow traces that's literally what we've done. Yeah, it said go around 116. And here comes Manuel as well. Yeah, so is this road? I am a bit confused. Go back. You have to go back. Maybe I just went straight into... T no, I was turning, wasn't I? Oh no, it might be these traces. Hang on. Let me go back. Yeah, it's this traces. So. Turn around. Go, go, go. Huh? Why is it going backwards? Oh no, hang on. This is where we turned off the previous waypoint then 116 here right now I remember where we are oh okay yeah, I went straight so going this way all right 
Oh fuck, there goes our hunt of Nicholas down the down the drain. Now we've got Manuel like 20 seconds behind us. Come on, quads. We even have speed over this. I'm just going to have to wait to the next wave, unfortunately. Here we go. Alright. 1 3 2. Here we go. We're back on track now. I've obviously just skipped ahead to the. What was it, like four waypoints ahead? One eight five. Which is not the right cap head in at all. The map says it's still going the right way. Oh my god. I might need to inflate pressures maybe. We are being very slow. Bob Tracer 274. And then 247 when we get here. Yeah, we're like too slow. We need to increase our speed a bit. I need to improve my navigation, but that's a me thing. 197. And 160 up here. At least we can still see Nicholas on the side, so at least we know where they are. Come on, turn, you bloody thing, turn, go, up, we're probably like five metres in front of it, no my luck, go, yeah we definitely need to increase tyre pressures, oh my god, yep, well ten metres, difference, Manuel was not that far from us either. Especially as we can't lose fifth gear in this. Like, this is like, <laughs> so annoying that we can't use fifth gear. As we are coming up to the control zone as well, Nicholas is there. We'll be able to see the gap actually, we can time it. Again, is that the moon in front in the sky? Was that Mars falling towards us? I don't know. No, he was. What is that? Uh, so we're going straight ahead. Right, like Nicholas about to get into the control zone. Oh, we're literally following the road to the control zone. Right, so they're there around 27.30. believe in you. As you can see at the bottom our fuel is running out as well, like it's good timing for the control zone. As Nicholas threw it now. We're just going full pelt downhill. There we go, we can see it in the distance now. At least I don't see it. Yeah, it's just over there. Just a bit round the bend. Oh, and it's like we're a minute behind Nicholas. That's how much that navigation issue has cost us. Right, let's check on the quad, because as I said, the tyres don't feel great, but it's 88%. Everything's like above 90 apart from the tyres. Like be all good but it's not two huge navigation errors as you've seen cost us at least a minute we might have a time penalty as well from taking the waypoint in a different order but it hasn't updated the penalties hasn't said anything even though it said like a three minute penalty 
So, yeah, I don't know what's happening there. And so we're just going straight ahead. Alright, we've got a minute to close, close on Nicholas. We'll try and time the gap to Manuel behind as well. They're about to get into the control zone. Well, it's nice going over the road flat out. <laughs> Normally, that's like a 90, isn't it? Right, so they've just entered it. They are like 25 seconds behind us. 25, 30 seconds behind. No, still not liking fifth. Again, it does look like we're closing up to Nicholas, but it looks like there's lots of time between these waypoints. That's probably why it's very flat out as well. Again, not like in fifth still. That's Manuel's free of the control zone. Well, at least it's like flat out road for us as well. Not be good on the flat out roads. There you go, we can finally use fear, that's nice. About damn time. Uh, let's get to enjoy a bit of the scenery now. We'll be flat out as well. Right, Nick is through that point, 30 10. Just through that way point. Seems like we've gained loads actually, what the hell? They made a mistake. Yeah, we're like 10 seconds behind. Huh? From a minute at the control zone to like 10 seconds. That can't be right. Something must have happened to Nicholas. He must have like spun it or something. Or had to do repairs. Who knows? Now let's watch out for a rock. Missed rock. Yeah, there they are. Look, they're in the riverbed in front. Oh, we can see them again. I wonder what happened then. Must have had a spin or something. You can actually check that on the replays now, which is cool. So, yeah, I can maybe see after this what happened to them. Uh, still going straight. Yeah, there, there they are, they're going to the next waypoint now between those rocks. See, so, yeah, we're only, what, a couple of kilometers behind them? Nice having a target, to be honest. Like, nice visual target as well. Uh, so yeah, looks like we pulled away from Manuel as well. Looks like we're leaving tracks and following some traces. Nice spot Nicholas, there they are up there. We're leaving traces going back to track <laughs> very shortly. Go on, make up your mind stage. That's we're halfway through it now as well. This is going to be like an hour stage. That's like a bit of an endurance test, a first stop, isn't it? I'm just about to see manual in the distance as well, snaking through here. It looks like we're finally leaving track. I think that's maybe what I saw them doing then, leaving track up here. I just want to hit this to go straight at 126. And then we're going on 11188. Slight lift so we can just get that rotation down. We can actually just follow his helicopter now. We can see the helicopter in the distance. Make sure that is following Nicholas as well. I want to keep an eye out in front. Can't really see it. Can tell though. Can't see them. Okay, that's one of the wider waypoints. Keep forgetting, mass waypoints are quite wide. Like control waypoints a bit tighter. Follow traces. My fault is looking at my head, it caught the one to nose dive down onto us. 
And it's all manuals disappearing from the side. Definitely are in a Chase Nicholas mood on this stage. Uh, Stephen Tracer, there he is, isn't it? We can actually see him now. So on Pistine, as noted by the P there, so the Trace is Pistine. And then kind of warning us about a ridge as well, undulation inside there. And a little number in the corner is like note 121. Note 122. So if we look down, we should be able to see Nicholas actually. Let's see. No, can't see them. Just out of shot. Once again, not lighting that fifth gear. Again, I think I've put too much too low a tyre pressure because you can't use fifth. And Stuart Varney now added manual. Stuart manual must have had a mistake or something. That's a half break through on waypoints as well coming up. And just under 200 kilometres to go as so, well. Oh, we could just see Nicholas on the road ahead. Go on now over the ridge. I can't really see him, no, damn it. Come on, bike. Get going. Oh, quad. Sing we wide. Oh. Right, Nicholas, about to get into the control zone. As noted by the head, he got to just loitering for no reason. Should be able to see them, actually, now. There they are, right in front. And literally filling a rock at them if we wanted. Punch of their tyre, you know. So 190 kilometres to go. No more control zones. 60 odd waypoints to go. See, so blasts away now. So I'll go. Right, so just going for the waypoint, so around 36 minutes. Just want to time out for our battery. Oh, I said it was around 10 seconds. Looks like that's increased a bit. More like 15 now. So I'm going to go off track. Turn it, turn it, turn it. One, two, three. That's got a bit of a waypoint valley for the first time this stage. Probably the only time. Would have thought with how many waypoints there are. And 90 again. And we're joining the road. And we've got a 90 speed zone. And the leaving trace is going 138. No, they want me to follow traces. Oh, yeah, let's cut some time off. Oh, yeah, there's Nicholas in the distance. Or someone in the distance, at least. I oh, see Giovanni at the bottom, so yeah, Manuel's just disappeared. Might have had, like, repairs as well. I've taken time out to 
handle that. As far as I haven't seen kind of any other vehicles, but I guess we probably wouldn't in the quads. Oh, I think this is a service class. Maybe the side by sides because they got that 130 kilometer per hour you know, speed limit. That's all I can think of, though. Oh, I just I've made some distance on us, haven't they? Well, it's time to do some cutting tonight. <laughs> Oh, and traces for quite a while in that cycle as well. Come on, almighty third girl, I believe in you. Oh my god, we're so slow uphill. I feel like I'm crawling here. That's all, oh, it is rough. It is rough. And now we can speed a bit downhill. It's like 99. Slight lift. It's right here, yeah, 74. Oh, it's a bike in front. What the hell? What are you doing? I mean, I didn't expect to find a bike. I was expecting maybe a side by side, not a bike. Let's catch up to. Okay, so now 300 kilometers down. Oh, that is rough. Yeah, we're just following traces for a very long time. Let's go through the rocks. Oh, another waypoint baddie in front. So we do get another one. Follow traces, this is a road. They're not traces. Oh yeah, you can see how much time we lose in these sections though. Look at that, they just powered away from us. The traces go around the bend. Oh, I don't need the road book here, we've actually got someone to follow. Can that ever catch up to them though? No. Proper waypoint valley side now. Cap zero. Eighteen, come on. Then thirty six. What are we doing? Multiples of eighteen now. Oh, then seventy six. Back on the road. Follow the road or traces. Keep following up to the tree. Got a bit of a 
They end up falling around there. Alright, at least we cleared the bike. It says he now struggles going uphill. I have to say, I thought this would be a bit more of an adventure in the dunes, but we're mostly following, was it, traces in the road, aren't we? I guess that's why, even despite the length, it's like an earlier stage, like we're probably late and the rally would be more off road here. Well, I literally just cut that. minimize the speed loss between ridges but I think it's working. Is that three five six? Oh yeah it's still following us. Yeah. At nine and nineteen. And then sixteen. Heads. Can't see them. Maybe a nice little speed boost. Uh, it's, oh my god. They got to just slide over these dudes. Oh no, it's just waiting for us. Hi. Right. Going for the dramatic, you know, undershot of us. Riding underneath them there. I feel like we have caught a bit of time back up so just again what three kilometers ahead right, four 34 so we're still just going straight ahead yeah again just lots of fine traces on that side Let's do a time check. 45.53. Should be a larger left-hander coming up. Where is that? Oh, there it is up there. Yeah, like 12 seconds behind. So yeah, I've closed the gap a bit. Quite a struggle going uphill. Around a hundred kilometers to go. I didn't see Giovanni seems to have dropped back a bit as well. Which is very good. Or Tre Trebian, what should we say? Leave traces go on road. This is a road. Oh there we go, you can see Nicholas in the distance as well. Just about. about the leave traces though. I oh, know leave leave the road and go the traces. Right, it's up here. Oh yeah there they are at the top of that ridge. Alright, less than 100 kilometers to go. Didn't have a fun chase. It's a shame I've had what? Two major areas with navigation on my part. It just meant we've had to be chasing this old stage. It does show we've got speed though. Like, speed has been pretty decent. I'm just worried about the time penalty for missing that. Or hitting that waypoint out of order. has not shown still. You know it shows penalties up there, that normally means we are getting a penalty. I 
I was say, with how flat out this stage has been as well, it might be under an hour actually doing this in. Which I wouldn't have thought would have been possible. And it's all this time, it's random ties. Only the ties indicate a waypoint or something, but. I think it did there. <laughs> oh, no, I can't go straight there. Jeez. Because the next one's a waypoint. I've got to buy the tracers out. There you, there you are. Still around three kilometers back. I was heading into some rock valley again, I think. Yeah, and it started going through their head. I'll go into the side of it, it looks like actually. Gear reached again. If you know it's only useful for us for what, a couple of seconds there. It's going up here then, are we? About 59. Or 85, should I say? And it's like we're rejoining the road. Fuck off. Oh, are you kidding? They put it just behind the turning. Yeah. I hate that. Why did they do that? Gave me a coffin fit game, what the hell? Right, 8861, I need to see this. I'm going all the way to the right. Is this straight ahead? Let's see. Yeah, it is just straight ahead. And then we're buying tracers again. God damn it, that's cost us, what, five seconds at least? Bloody waypoint. We're literally what? Five meters off? So there's Nicholas over there, he's just gone over that ridge in front. Oh, he's come back down. Oh, hello. Someone struggled to get up there. About to say hello to him. Oh, he's got going again. Oh, just in the nick of time. Oh, well, maybe that's why we've lost track of, like, manual then as well. And that's maybe why we've been able to catch in certain parts and, you know, lose time in others. Yeah, so just falling straight. Oh, my God, he's blasted. Hey, come back. Just want to say hi. Big fan. On your autograph. All the things. So now we've got a proper tour guide. We've got Dust Trail to follow as well. Or well, not, we can just blast by. There we go, back to first on the road. Alright. 337, I'm going to be fine. What the is that? Oh, Alright, doesn't matter. Is 
literally right on our tail. We've lost... Oh, Alexandra's now behind us. I was about to say, we've lost... We've lost Giovanni. Obviously, he's running into an issue. Once again, getting the... Dust in my eyes, uh, in my mouth as well. All right, well, all we need to do is maybe just forward them to the end. We've got a little mini waypoint baddie in front as well. Looks like. Got way by my waypoints. There we go. On my robot. Oh my god! Come on! Kidding. Yeah, they just blasted away by a couple of kilometers. Glitch is a couple of kilometers as well. Right, back onto the road. Go, smooth transition. And then we're off road again. <laughs> there we go. Oh. It's still up there. Yeah, and it's like they maybe stopped at the waypoint there. Go on, power! But there's some 30k's to go. Coming up. Oh, my God, It'd be quicker swimming. Come on. That's seventy two. Just as we get going, shot left. 3 3 2. Let's see, 4 and 29. For the helicopter. <laughs> oh, hey, got oh, helicopter's just waiting at the waypoint for us. Thanks, helicopter. That's very kind of you. It's telling us where we have to go. Three ten. Going as far as we can, but we're not closing at all at any rate. And that's why we're rejoining the road for the last 10k's. And as we can see, the R's. I don't know what's happening here. Eh? Instead I've gone way past it. Oh, 
Where is it on this road? near it? Why is it not updating? Oh my god. Game being dumb. Fucking hell. Where's Alexandra? Where are you? He's now ahead of me. Where is he though? I can't see where he is. Where is he? It's a waypoint up here? Like, where is it? It's round here somewhere. Or is it up here? I am... What? I am bewildered. Now I've gone past it. Make up your mind. Am I near the waypoint? Am I far away from it? This is a road. At, two, at 145k's. Is it this road? It's this road. Alright. Oh my god. Alright, so my distance was wrong. Jeez. Alright, let's get going. Damn. Dummy road. That's all. Alexandra crossed the line first. So did they have any errors or anything? As now we see Giovanni behind us as well. So free navigation errors by me. Brilliant. Alright, just follow traces, we can do it. And it's been like following traces and following roads. How have I made so many elementary mistakes? As it was an hour in the end this stage. Thank god it's freaking recording still. So it says the finish. We know what we've got to do setup wise. What have we done time wise? Oh, we didn't get a penalty for missing the waypoint. Interesting. As uh, oh my god, twelve minutes behind Alexandra. Tom Assey, we did not see it all ahead of us as well. Nicholas, five minutes ahead, and then Giovanni Manuel. So there we are in third overall with Nicholas leading the way now by just a minute and a half, and we're third or four minutes back or three minutes back, and we're just a minute and a half ahead of Thomas. So. Yeah, I need to get better than navigating, don't I? <laughs>